And the avocado we're gonna add it to the end because ah, I cut myself. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Just want these people to wake up. Hi, I'm Saul, I'm a professional chef, and this is a hundred and thirteen dollars burrito. Hi, I'm Bianca, and I'm a home cook, and these are my $10 burrito ingredients. What I'm gonna do with this, I guess we'll find out soon. I see this in my supermarket all the time, and obviously it's not a cactus. Oh, it is a cactus. We're putting cactus in our burrito. Okay, got it. Mar y tierra, mar y tierra burrito. To all my Spanish speaking friends, I know I'm butchering these words. Forgive me, I beg of you. I was planning on making mar y tierra burrito, surf and turf. I had some excellent ingredients to work with. I had fresh shrimp and a grass fed bone in ribeye steak. I had some pork skin and manteca to make fresh chicharrones. I don't really eat bacon. Shh, we're gonna keep this a secret on the low. And you know I had cheese, queso fresco for filling. Is that like a tongue? and Oaxaca for frying. Oh, it's cheese. I was gonna top it off with nopal pico de gallo, made from nopales or a cactus. I can't say I've ever eaten a cactus. Oh my gosh, see? You gotta be careful. Tomatoes, white onion, cilantro, pico jalapeños, oregano, and lime. I was also going to make a tres chile sauce, guajillo, morita, and chile de arbol. Oh, duh. Three chili sauce, got it, all right. I had tomatillos, plum tomatoes, garlic, and white onion. Oh God, there's more, <laughs> there's more. And I have everything I needed for homemade tortillas. All purpose flour, manteca, and salt. So I have to make a tortilla, <laughs> got it? It was gonna be the best delicious burrito. Why are you guys always, always stealing from me? With Bianca's recipe, I have simple ingredients. This is stuff that you might find in your kitchen or in your grocery store. Chicken breast, white rice, long tomatoes, white onion, jalapeno, cilantro, Monterey Jack, avocado, sour cream, sriracha, and pre-made tortillas. These ingredients might be simple, but I'm gonna make the best burrito you ever had in your life. Trust me. All this will probably cost about $11.85. $10? Yeah, I just had a kid. I didn't get enough sleep, so I need to work on my numbers again. We have like steak, shrimp. I'll give it like 90 to 100 for the ingredients alone. Also, it costs $113 for all of these ingredients. So we're gonna have a little luxurious afternoon lunch. So this is Chef Saul's recipes book. He kind of played me, I feel me, because he only gave me the ingredients. I have no instructions. I have no idea what to do here, people. I plan to just make a really simple burrito. And now we have steak, shrimp, cactus. I can't get away from the cactus. <laughs> it's one of my favorite ingredients, I will say. What I like about the nopal is it's pretty healthy for you. Plus, if you don't impress your friends, Throw some nopales on your pico de gallo. Okay, so I've seen the show, obviously, like, get Rose here, stat. Hi! It's super <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you, Rose. Oh my gosh. What exactly is nopal? So it's a cactus leaf. Does it have the thorns in it? Yes, a few of them actually got me. I was, oh, I was no. harmed at the making of this video. At the bottom, there's a thin, kind of flatter section. Take that, hold it at an angle, get a sharp knife, and gently just kind of chip at it until you get oh. all of the thorns removed. And you're gonna put it into a rolling boil with a lot of salt in it. Leave it in there until it changes color. It's gonna become more like an olive green color. Take it out, put it in an ice water bath, so that'll stop the cooking. And then you are going to maybe notice some sliminess. Wash it off, and then you're gonna grill it really briefly in a pan. You're gonna slice it up, and it'll work in really well with the rest of the pico de gallo. So that's just one step, got it. <laughs> we have a lot to do here, but I'm super calm. A lie. I'm 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 a bit more confident <laughs> than I was before. Really ready to dig into that cactus. I feel like I'm doing nothing. Bianca, I know you probably never work with an opal. Oh no. Okay, that's a little bit too rough. Don't spread all the spines all over the table because you might end up 
you know, drop it on the sauce, and then you eat your burrito, and you have spine, and then you have spines all over your mouth. It's a mess. It's a mess. We're gonna be here all day chopping up a cactus. We do, we have a burrito to make. I would like to eat it for lunch. One down, one to go. So I'm thinking Bianca is going to make grilled chicken. Guess what, what I'm gonna make? I'm gonna make this chicken dance. Make like a shredded chicken tinga stew. Instead of the chipotle, I'm gonna throw some jalapeno. The way to find out if it's really hot, it's by doing this. Cut it and smell it. Ooh, those are spicy. If you want to make your jalapeno spicy, do this. Grab it on your table. So have a nice spicy jalapeno. So I'm just gonna use one jalapeno in my pot right here. So my nopales are thorn free and they're ready to be blanched. Normally when I make a burrito, I really like things quick, easy. The blanching of the nopales takes longer than me cooking my burrito at home and eating it and watching my television show. But yeah, you know, new experiences, right? <laughs> now, I'm gonna use Julian onions. I'm gonna close my eyes. Don't do this at home. See? Huh? 23 years. Voila. We have our onions and jalapenos for our tinga. We're gonna throw some cilantro in here. So I'm gonna add my chicken right here. So here's my chicken for my chicken tinga. I'm gonna put it on the stove, bring it to boil, make sure it's cooked all the way through, and then shred the crap out of it. Shred it, shred it. Oh, I'm out, sorry. So we're gonna take the boiling napales and we're gonna put it in the ice cold bath. And we're gonna put it on the grill. I'm gonna leave it on the grill for a moment and get some grill marks. Now, I'm not saying that's not how it's supposed to look, but I don't know if I like it. But yeah, no slime. Oh, here's the little slime. <laughs> I think this is good enough because it's bordering burnt, and we don't want that, we don't want burnt. I'm gonna chop up the napales and then add all of the ingredients to put together my pico de gallo. Should I give it a try? Um, you know, and it has like a sour, salted taste. You know, I'm gonna give it another try when I combine all the ingredients. I have faith in Chef Saul. As you can see, Bianca has sent me basic ingredients. And one thing that I'm going to make is pico de gallo, but I'm gonna make avocado pico de gallo. Basically, it's simple pico de gallo. I wish I had lime. Bianca? Bianca, I wish I had lime. <sighs> So now we're gonna add onions, tomatoes, jalapeno, and a little oregano, and some olive oil as well. The nopal adds um, a bit of like a sliminess, but it still smells pretty good. Now I'm gonna chop some cilantro. Honestly, I don't even know why they call it pico de gallo. In Mexico, they call it salsa fresca. You know what pico de gallo stands for, right? The mouth of the rooster. And now let's find out how good this avocado is. Whew. Nice. Now I'm gonna dice it into squares. Why are we adding the avocado in the end? Cause I say so. No, because we don't want to have as, as like a smash avocado. We wanna have chunky avocado. And there you have it. Avocado pico de gallo without lime. It's okay. I'm following the rules. Then let's cut up this lime. Put a finishing touch. And now the moment of truth. You must try your making. You can wait until the end. Mm. It is more salt. It tastes better with salt. So it smells pretty good. All right, so my pico de gallo is done. And for this other half, your time is coming, my friend. So we're making progress, guys. We've made it to the chicharrones. It's basically a combination of pork skin and manteca, which is rendered pork fat. They did a little pork crazy over here. The reason why I use chicharron is because I like to have some kind of crunchiness on my burrito. Now we're gonna add the pork skin. So, you know, I'm gonna stand back. You know, we don't want no casualties. <laughs> as soon as you drop the skin onto the hot manteca, you're gonna see like a, like a flower. Like skin is like, transforming. Oh, it's like a huge pork rind. This is a pork skin. But I'm pretty much done with it for now. So Bianca, you sent me some white rice. I don't wanna just put plain rice on my burrito. Do I look like a plain guy? No, right? So I'm making rice 
con con. Basically, it's fried rice. The rice that sticks into the pan, the burn part, it's nice and crispy. Something that I learned with my wife, she's Dominican. Rice con con. That I'm saying this, my love, con con. The crunchy texture of my burrito. Okay, so it looks like it's ready. So do I want to do this and flip it? Or do I want to play safe? Okay. There we go. <laughs> oh my God, this is the best con con ever. Nice and crunchy. So now I'm going to cook my shrimp. These are pretty jumbo. This is a jumbo shrimp. They're huge. And cut it into little pieces, little dices. Why? Because you kind of want to have an even bite of the shrimp. To season my shrimp today, I have salt, mixed garlic, and the chipotle. I want to keep the sauce on the shrimp, so I'm going to try not to move it around too much. So it reminds me of uh, like orange chicken. So I already have my chicken right here. It's already boiled. Look at this beauty. Normally, I will tell you to use these two forks to kind of um, shred it, but I have a better trick. Use your hands. Because you, you control the size of your, of your chicken breast. And there you have it. Shredded chicken for my chicken tinga. Have it has taken some time. We're gonna season it with some salt and pepper. So we're going for medium rare here. Rose said, leave it alone. So said, leave it alone. So you know what I do? Leave it alone. <laughs> All right, tinga time. We're just going to cook this. Again, chicken tinga goes with chipotle, but I have no chipotle, so I have to follow the rules. Son, are you watching this? Follow the rules. I'm gonna add the chicken now. Look at this beautiful. It's kind of look like a, a fajita. <laughs> and at this point, I will add the chipotle. So I'm just gonna close my eyes and think this is chipotle. Yes, it's chipotle. Yes, lots of chipotle. Listen, there's nothing wrong with this sauce. I love this sauce, I love it. Listen. And I'm gonna add my chicken broth that we make together in the past. I'm not gonna add a lot. I don't wanna have a saggy burrito, but normally you add a lot of chicken broth. Mmm, that's when you know it's ready, when it tastes delicious and it looks delicious. I can't believe this is just lunch. This is at least two meals. <laughs> so we're gonna let it rest a little bit to kind of finish up cooking and cool off a bit. All right, all right, all right. The other half of the avocado. I'm going to make avocado sauce. I'm gonna make it happen with what I have. I'm gonna use onion for the jalapeno and cilantro. Mmm. Mmm. I mean, who doesn't like avocado? I'm going to be making my tres chile sauce. Arbo, morita, and guajillo. Guajillo for texture and flavor. Morita, more for flavor. Arbol for spicy. So normally, I always have sour cream on the side. And Chef Saul, I hope you're doing something good with my sour cream. Honestly, I don't know what to do. I'm not just gonna mix them. There you go. I'm gonna make Sriracha crema. And this is really simple, guys. I mean, come on. Mmm, it's more spicy. It's actually really good. So, as you can see, there is a little puffiness. Uh oh. Woo! Actually, that was a magic moment. Okay, that was a moment. And then you're gonna take a separate pan and you're gonna do a similar thing to the tomatoes and the onions and the other ingredients. Just toss them around to get them warm as well as a little bit charred. And then you take those ingredients with your chilies and put them in a blender. The vinegar is gonna get the color really nicely and give a little bit of a tang. It's spicy, but it's not too crazy. So another special moment for me, I'm going to make my own tortilla. We have flour, salt, lard. <laughs> All right, so it feels a little sticky. Uh, I feel like a real chef. Let me make it dough. Who would have thought? Domesticated millennial. All right, so now we're gonna knead the dough. So I'm kind of gonna shape this into a ball and then cover it with saran wrap and let it sit. God. <laughs> Wrap it. Dough ball. Okay, so my dough has been sitting for a little bit. And now for the fun part, I'm going to roll it into a tortilla. It's a little harder than I thought. So it's getting there. Totally digging the shape of my tortilla, okay? Is that it for me? I am, because this is like a 300 step process. 
<laughs> and we're near the end. <laughs> so that's why I'm happy. Woo, yay! Uh, look at this tortilla. Now this is a nice looking tortilla. Here's my cooked tortilla. I wish I was making my own tortilla. So I got these tortillas from, from Bianca. She also sent me Monterrey cheese. Yes, 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 yes. I'm going to do the cheese trick. Saul's cheese trick is basically putting the cheese in first and then we're going to put the tortilla on top of the cheese and then flip it. But I'm gonna double it. What's better than cheese? More cheese. But first of all, I need to heat up my tortilla. If you don't heat up your tortilla, it will break the cheese trick. Don't touch it. Leave it alone. It's not bothering you. It shouldn't be bothering the cheese. Put it over and then hold it and then. <laughs> oh, we out here. It's a little white. It's cool. Woo! You know what? I'm gonna do the same thing that I did. The cheese, the cheese trick, right here, right now. It is time to assemble my burrito. I've been working hard for this. My steak has been resting for a little bit, and now we're going to slice it up. I'm gonna put my steak first. I'm gonna add some of this tinga, and you see that there's not that much liquid into this tinga. The shrimp with the chipotle adobo. We're gonna do the con con. I'm gonna do chunks of rice. Do you guys hear that? So crunchy. Since the concon is a little bit dry, it needs to have a little bit of sauce. A little bit of manica in my life, a little bit of manica in my life. A little bit of my sriracha crema, a little bit of sour cream. So we're gonna add the famous nopal pico de gallo and the tres chile sauce. And now for the chicharrones. <laughs> this is definitely pork rind. And it smells like when I was watching the stories with my grandpa watching all my children. And now it's a case of fresco. Look at those colors. Look how beautiful that looks. Now I'm just gonna roll it. I've never rolled a burrito before. Push the ends like that. We're gonna fold inward and wrap this around. Pull all this inside here and then just push towards yourself like this. And then it's gonna be so tight. Huh. So we have our burrito. For the finishing touch, we're gonna put it back in the pan to seal it. And this is how you seal the deal. But wait, there is more. It's time for cheese trick part two. So I did the cheese trick inside, now I'm gonna do it outside. And there you have it. Here's my burrito with cheese inside and outside. Let's play this baby, let's play this. It looks beautiful, huh? I know, I love it. I was hoping the cheese pull would happen, but it looks tasty. So we're gonna place it like this, and then we're gonna get some lime. I'm going to make rolls. So now it's just like sushi. Look at this beauty. Just do a little more of this little cold fresco. Trish chile sauce. I'm like, it looks cute to me. Does it look cute to you? All right, and then I guess we could add some of these little bad boys on the side. And here is my take on Chef Saul's surf and turf burrito recipe. A little bit of my, my avocado, a little bit of my sriracha crema, and some sour cream. There we go. I'm gonna have these four for me, and this is for Ella, my daughter, and this is for Elena, my other daughter. And there you have it, my chicken tinga burrito. I think I nailed it, but there's one more thing that I have to do, and that's trying this. Okay. This is not working out for me. Should I have enough of this sauce? Enough, enough of the crema. Delicious, delicious, delicious. It's just the layers of textures too. Like I, I can see, I can feel the crunchiness of the, of the con con. It's just really, really good. So I'm team steak, <laughs> team shrimp. I think they actually mix really well together. But I, you know, you know what I'm coming back to. I'm back to the, the, the Nepal. <laughs> the cactus, you know, it's not my favorite, but I do enjoy the steak and the shrimp and the tres chile salsa. So you know what? Two out of, what's that? 
That's like three. Three out of four ain't bad. It's a pork rind. I know it. Shout out to my grandpa. Hi, so. Hi, Bianca. How's it going? <laughs> How's the uh, the uh, burrito, Mari Tierra? Mari Tierra, I like that. See, I'm happy I have you here because I've been butchering the names. <laughs> awful, awful job. The three chile sauce, it was on point, 10 out of 10. Great, great. Did you end up doing the cheese trick? I did do the cheese trick. You got some competition. However, I must know, cactus. How do you feel? How do you feel about cactus? I love cactus. It's uh, it, Listen, whenever I want to feel like I'm eating something healthy, I go for cactus. I grill it. Really? For cactus? Not like broccoli? <laughs> you know? That's actually, that's my Mexican broccoli. <laughs> Check it out. Check it out. It looks yummy. It looks, it looks yummy. Uh, look, you telling me the truth? A scale of one to ten. <laughs> one to ten, I think, looks 9.99. .99. Oh, okay. That is you. Lovely, lovely man, lovely man. Oh, wow. So this is... Why would you disrespect me like that? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Bianca. Well, thank you very much. See you soon. Uh, thank you. Bye.